What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Union watching the Rage and Run review. I got a review for you. Last weekend, I watched Maze Runner: The Scorched Trials, and Maze Runner: The Scorched Trials is, of course, the sequel to last year's The Maze Runner. And The Scorched Trials is a direct follow-up to the previous film, so it continues where the last one left off. Now, both films are directed by Wes Ball, and I gotta tell you that it follows the exact same formula, and that is the formula of mystery. There's a lot of mystery going on, especially in the first one. We don't know what the hell is going on, but we're just getting closer to the, um, uh, to the bigger story. The same thing applies to the second film. We get a couple of answers to our questions from the previous film, but then it opens up more questions. It's kind of like uh, a continuing episode of Lost, but on a larger scale. Now, I really, really enjoyed The Maze Runner, the first film, but this one, I gotta say, it kind of falls a little bit short. Now, I'm very much invested into all the characters, that I, and I really enjoyed the direction that West Ball gives us, but I find that the payoff in this film isn't quite as satisfying. And the main reason is because, well, the movie is called The Maze Runner, and they took away the mazes. You know what I'm saying? There's no more mazes in this film. Um, now, of course, they're calling it the Scorch Trials, and they're going through the Scorch. So I get that. But one thing that made The Maze Runner great is because of the mazes. I mean, we love mazes. As a kid, I love mazes. I think a lot of kids love mazes, but you took one of the best elements about the, like this, this, uh, this story out of it, and now all they're really doing is running through the desert, trying to avoid the cranks. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to spoil what the cranks are, but I feel like they've changed genres now. It's no longer a maze genre. It's a genre about... Uh, kind of like Resident Evil. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so it just feels very, very different. I find the payoff is not as satisfying. It feels kind of anticlimactic, and I find that it opens big only to have the movie kind of plateau, and then it just kind of has a bit of a climax at the end. And then, of course, at the by the time we get to the third act and um, the, the conclusion of the film, we are left feeling like, Oh man, I want to see the rest of it. Where's the rest of the story? It just kind of ends it. And it doesn't end it in a way, like, it doesn't end it um, effectively, like the way they do it in the Hunger Games. I find that um, you feel, at least in the Hunger Games, the, the, the movie, the film is complete. You got a beginning, middle, and an end. Of course, it continues on with a cliffhanger, but at least you still feel a sense of, like, okay, that was a good movie. Okay, this one, you know, I, I, Felt it was entertaining for what it was worth, but I, I felt that there it still feels kind of flat. It was a weaker uh, installment, to be completely honest. It felt like um, they could have done a little bit more. It felt kind of dull uh, when I really think about it. Uh, the strongest part was all the intrigue that happened at the, the beginning of the movie. And then I felt that there were some scenes that were quite unnecessary, like this this uh, sequence with Alan Tudyk and this... Uh, this weird kind of uh, rave party scene. Like, if you cut that out of the movie, it will be the same movie. Now, some of you might be thinking, but, you know, that's what happens in the book. Or, you know, you should read the book. It's uh, it's a lot better. Well, you know what? I don't care about the book. I'm here to review a movie. Um, I, I don't want to have any bias expectations about this film. I, I want to watch this movie as a movie. So, it, it feels like, they're, the structure of this film is is not um, put together in a way that really tells a story effectively. And at the end of all this, I felt slightly unsatisfied. I mean, sure, there are some great moments in this movie. Like I said, the, be the beginning opening sequence was cool. A lot of the set pieces are really quite exciting. Um, and, of course, you have a great character... Um, like Minho, played by Ki Hong Lee, which I was totally rooting for. And it's mainly because he was cool... Uh, from the beginning that we meet him in the Maze Runner, and he was still cool at the end of the movie, and he's still also very, very cool in this film. <laughs> so, And I also like Thomas, but I found him a little bit more um, clueless and annoying in this movie, mainly because there's some scenes where there's danger, 
And then he just stops and stares at it. And I'm thinking, dude, will you stop and stop staring and just run? Just freaking run already. Stop staring at it. You know what I'm saying? So I felt that scenes like that really bother me because it doesn't feel realistic. Why are you not running? <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, for the most part, it was uh, somewhat entertaining. Uh, I hope that the third installment is stronger because it, after all, is the closing uh, um, the closing installment to this trilogy. Um, this is a, a, a concept that I really, really enjoy. Uh, but first one was great. Second one felt a bit flat. So I hope the third one um, really uh, wraps things up in uh, in a way that I that I would find a little bit more effective because this one. I felt that they could have put a bit more work into it. And in some ways, it almost feels rushed, mainly because the, the, the time in between these sequels is one year apart from each other. They're taking two years to release the third installment, which means that they are putting more time into the script and the shooting and, and you know putting more attention to detail, I hope. But this one just feels like they, they could have done a better job with it. Anyways, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, 6 out of 10. The previous one I gave a 7.5 out of 10. Very good movie. But this one uh, falls a bit short. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. Now, um, I think that if you enjoyed the first one, I think you should still check this one out because it is part of the story. But I'll tell you right now that the first one is better. All right, so there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Hughes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. In fact, I think that he's the only director that can touch this film and actually make it work just because of him and his 